from Utah's news leader. Fox 13 News Live at 5 starts now. Newly released body camera video shows the shooting between a man and two Murray police officers in June of 2021. The suspect was killed and an officer injured. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser asked the district attorney why it took so long for his office to investigate. The district attorney says this investigation took longer than usual because of a slew of shootings that summer. Plus, they had to bring in more expert analysis. After a year and a half. Can I talk to you for a second? We're seeing to talk to you first. You got to talk to you. The Salt Lake County DA's office has come to a conclusion on this deadly officer involved shooting. That's where I can see him. Oh, I don't want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Don't run for this. Don't run for this. 33-year-old Willie Salazar died in an apartment hallway after two Murray police officers responded to a call from his mother in June 2021. She told dispatchers her son was trying to kill her. Show me your hands now! Show me your hands! Get them out where we can see them! Now show me your... In those nine seconds, Salazar fired a shot. The officers fired nine. Four at the beginning, two after the first officer was shot, and then three more when Salazar was on the ground. It was really critical for us to make sure that how do we evaluate those sequences? Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill says investigators were concerned one officer fired his gun while the other was instructing Salazar to put his hands up. We could not prove, even on that third incident there, that it was unreasonable. Salazar's gun was found over 14 feet away from his body. Evidence suggests it could have been thrown before the last five gunshots. However, investigators determined there's no evidence the officers knew the gun was no longer with Salazar and they will not be criminally charged. We wanted to make sure that we had a, also an outside subject matter person take a look at it, so it took a little bit longer time. The first officer was shot in the leg, but was treated for the injury. Gill believes both officers are still working with the Murray Police Department. Reporting in Murray, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.